Hi, I'm Zach Paris, and I'm the pastor of Lutheran Campus Ministry at the University of Colorado in Boulder. And this past weekend on campus, it was family weekend. As a part of the weekend, I got to volunteer to welcome parents as they came to visit their student. I gave directions, I gave away packets of information for parents to recycle later, and I got one of these sweet tie-dye t-shirts. I love interacting with parents, whether it's family weekend or when they stop by during summer orientation. It's exciting and it's holy to be with people in these liminal places, at the places where things are changing. And it's scary for students and parents because once you move away, your relationship has changed. And nobody's very sure how things now work. And I get to witness and accompany this careful dance of student and parent growing and changing together. I was particularly aware of Family Weekend this year because my parents decided to come out for a visit, though they did not register with the university and therefore did not receive a sweet tie-dyed t-shirt. But it got me to thinking. I'm originally from, but my parents still live, just a short 25-hour car ride away in North Carolina. And I haven't really lived at home in almost 15 years. I am most certainly a different person than I was at the dawn of the new millennium. And while my parents are incredibly supportive, every time we get together, there's always a bit of the feel of family weekend. We have to feel each other out a bit. They want to be supportive of me and my life, and I want them to know about the ever-changing person I am becoming, the ever-changing life I am living. But that takes time, and it takes work. While they were here, we went up to Georgetown, Colorado, to eat lunch and be tourists. Georgetown was founded back during the Pikes Peak Gold Rush in the 1850s. And there was a time when it was home to a number of cinematic endeavors. The climactic scene in Clint Eastwood's Every Which Way But Loose was filmed there, as was the made-for-TV classic The Christmas Gift, featuring John Denver. But the Gold Rush is now over, and the town exists primarily as a stop for tourists. On Family Weekend, it struck me that we were in Georgetown, in a city, in a place whose own identity has continually changed. And that, it seems, is what life is. Change. And the part I haven't really mentioned, because most things are ever and only about me, is that in the past 15 years or so, my parents have changed as well. They aren't the same people they were when they moved me into the seventh floor of my freshman dorm. One day while they were here, my parents and I went up into Rocky Mountain National Park and rode horses. My parents had been into horses since I was in the fourth grade, but I forgot, or I learned again for the first time, how much joy horses bring them. Please don't tell my dad. It shouldn't be a big deal because he's not on the internet or anything. But on the drive up into the park, my dad was nervous. And we rode for just two quick hours, but for the rest of the trip, that's all my parents talked about, recounting each turn on the trail, remembering their horses' names and attitudes. And here's the really cool part. They invited me into that uncovered and unexpected joy. And we, you and me and your parents and my parents, we are all changing. And to be in relationship with another is for two dynamic objects to be in the same orbit. That's not a bad thing. It's a sign of hope. It's a sign of hope of the unexpected joy that we might discover in those we know so well. So on Family Weekend, may you find in your relationships the unexpected joys that can only be found, can only be discovered in time.